Using Google Drive to send large files is easy when both the sender and receiver have Google accounts. But did you know it's just as easy if the person you're sending to does not have a Google account? It is. And in this video, I'm going to show you both ways. Let's get into it. Okay, so here I am in my Google Drive. I have a Google Drive account because I'm a freelancer and I edit videos for clients and I'm always having to send large files, video files typically, to clients. Um, so it makes sense for me to have a Google Drive account with some extra space. Um, but I can send these files to clients even though they don't have a Google Drive account and I'll show you how. So the first thing you should do is create a folder uh, where you're going to put all the files that you want to send to your clients. So I'll just right click here, new folder, and we'll call this test clients. Okay, and now let's go into that folder. Now in here, what I do is I would put a, a folder for each of my clients. So um, I may have several clients that I'm working for at one time. So let's just go ahead and right click, click create new folder, and we'll call this client one, for example. Okay, so now I have a dedicated folder for this client. So double click to go into that folder. And now let me just add a file. I'm just gonna drag a, a random video file over here and I'll upload that file to this folder. Okay, so with the file uploaded, uh, let's say I wanna share this folder with my client. I may have several files that I wanna upload in here that I want him to be able to download. So let's go back up to test clients. And now this is the client folder where I have that file. What you're gonna do is with it highlighted, you can either click this icon here, the share icon, or simply right click here and then hover down to the share icon here and click on share. You'll get a pop-up open right here. So I could either share this folder with clients who have Google account by entering them in here, or assuming this person does not have access, let's come down to general access and we'll click on restrict it here. And we're gonna select anyone with the link. Once we have that selected, I'm gonna click copy link and then click done. So now I have copied the link and now all I have to do is open up an email or a message to my client, paste the link. And just so you know, the link will look like, let's just paste it here. That's what the link is gonna look like. And then you send that link to your client and they'll be able to click it and get access to the folders that you wanna share with them. It's that easy. If you found this helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons below. I help people with YouTube, video editing, and content creation with videos like this and in my weekly live stream. I go live on this channel every Tuesday where I do live how-to tutorials and answer your questions live. So if there's anything else you'd like to learn about YouTube or content creation, subscribe to this channel and join me in my next live stream. I'm Rob and I'll see you in the next video or in a live stream. I'll see you soon.